Okay, so last week, no demos, free update, a small issues. A quick meeting. Oh, we talked about stuff. I showed stuff about. Uh, I did a change. Yes, I did a change on the build system. Yes, and uh, it's done, so I can show that. Actually, I did another change this morning just to react to a mistake I did. So today we are 11 to 2021. Demos, topics. So something I did last week. I will show you demos. Apparently, Satiris has a new site. Should I put it in the demos? Is that a new site? Um, six don't misspell the net. So it's like this. Uh, what else? Demos, demos, demos. I put this here from the usual demo givers. So in the demos. So let's do the status. Let's do the status. Uh, I can show you something about the, the list items. Uh, okay. And if it's okay, we I can make a PR. Okay, demo. We we'll see a demo then. Um, so, so Orchard Core. Let's start with the status first. Uh, Orchard One. There were some things that were merged. We have since last week, which was twenty six. We have um, that we saw, I believe. Then fixed values typos in translated text. And oh, the, oh, this one was much a different cache key by all, which is a new feature. Um, so you can cache uh, pages for each role. So all the users in the same role will see the same thing. And it's a custom feature, so you need to enable it. Cache by role. If user is too precise and anonymous is not precise enough, then you can do you can do it by role. Okay. Um, oops, then 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 it should go. So first I'm on this branch, so I will keep it or I will forget. Where was my branch? Ah, well, was the branch, this one? Here, okay, I just pushed it. So this is Interis branch to migrate to Net6. Um, so what I did on this one is just update the package versions to RC2 because this is the latest public version sheet. Updated this package here, which has a space which should not have a space. Here. That uh, updated the build script to use a pattern here instead of the specific version. It's using always the latest version of C0, even per is, which means once uh, the RC2, the RTM is shipped, it will update to that automatically. But it's just for the build script. We will still need to update the versions here to the official C0 version. We need the versions here because these are used for um, references, you get packages. So we can't just do a generic value. We have to pass the explicit version we want to use, including the extensions here. Um, and there. 
So, but everywhere in the race pipeline, I'm using generic versions because this we can do. It supports it. Okay, so updated. This way, this branch builds with 6.0. I need to try if, if everything still, still works. We can also probably build a function test run with that. Um, and when 6.0 ships, we should be ready to just mirror that and be able to use 6.0. So .NET 6 shipping day. Will be released in November 9, which is exactly next week. So, next week we should be able to merge um, uh, this branch in main and have support for the Nexus 6 2. So, that would be nice. Um, we are keeping the Cora 3 1 for now. Uh, even though we could remove it because um, six would be an LTS and and uh, but yeah maybe people are blocked are stuck on three one for now and then want to upgrade even though using Orchard there is not much you can't that blocks you from migrating to five zero and six zero because we support that so that should be smooth. Um, so that is done. Um, going back to the status. Looking at the main branch. This one we have seen state 26 here. So this is what I did last week uh, during the meeting to try to, uh, to fix the build configuration with the version and the, the end result is if I go on the main branch. As a reminder, what I was trying to do was to fix this file by creating a version as an output step or a step output here, name version, using a standard um, bash script. And now this version is available for every other step, including the Windows ones. Um, so here, then I used the output version here, the output version there, and so on. And the last thing that had to be fixed, I think, was the Docker pipeline here. But yeah, it's working fine. So version here just specified once, well, gathered once, and we use every wires. So it's working fine, and I checked this morning that I didn't make a mistake by using Docker Hub. And if I go there and look at the tags, we have latest, which is the latest public, public release, like the same as we get, which is today 110. We have 110 explicitly, which was the one that didn't work before, and we have dev. So dev published 31 minutes ago based on the latest push to the main branch. Um, 110 published seven days ago based on the fixes we did on the um, uh, tag 110, okay, and latest, which is equivalent to 110. Okay, it's the same image, but with different tags. So if you want to pin a specific version, you can pass a specific version. If you want to use the latest, always you use the latest public one here. And the latest preview is always there. Okay, so that works for Linux and for Windows. Same thing seven days ago, seven days ago and 34 minutes ago, 61. 61, you see the same image for latest and 110, super nice. Good, so that is done. So next release will be even easier. Um, okay, going back to the status. So 26 here, this was all the changes made. Antoine updated MK.materials, updated 
Totnet SDK to 17. Tony Han fixed the problem that hint information cannot be displayed. Okay, so bad copy paste in the HTML field, in the text field. Interesting. I go in the door. Okay. Update of lucene.net to beta 15. And I checked in the repository and they, they seem to be preparing for a release because they did all the licenses and docs and everything. I haven't checked the release notes actually. I saw they mentioned a release and release notes. They mentioned release notes, which are they mentioned release notes in the commits. This one. Website site release notes. Websites sites release notes. Is there a site? Yes, there is one. Is there a release note? I think uh, Antoine uh, on the PR that emerged. Uh, he made a link to those pages. Oh, just a license here. Maybe there's something else, but we can see it in this commit. Um, oh, but on, on the PR uh, message, huh? Oh, it's not on. Thank you. Somewhere here. On the PR itself. Yeah, in GitHub, in the comments. It's always been a pre-release. There has never been something better. And that's kind of uh, funny, weird, because people keep asking for Orchard Core to be 1.0 before, like, oh, I can't use it, it's not 1.0, right? So just public announcement, Orchard Core 1.0 is using lots of libraries that are not 1.0 or major version. So what should we do? Um, okay, so this is the, okay, so the, there is a release, so that's where I can see that as releases. Maybe because it's called the release, okay. No issues. Breaking changes, but that didn't break us. Lots of bug fixes. Yeah. Performance swap in instead of dictionary. This one is slower than dictionary. So maybe some cases are faster because they say they support editing also while iterating. Maybe they had to do a copy before while deleting, but if you're not deleting, then dictionary is definitely faster. If you're not updating, that's the issue with concurrent dictionary. So, yeah. To be justified actually for performance. Lots of changes, crazy.
I think there was a section where, where it was mentioning breaking changes. I don't see it. And so, yeah, we, we see that. Uh, oh, break it here. That's of yeah, breaking break changes, but yeah. don't they are just internal that stuff that we don't use directly. Yeah. So that's probably fine for us. Now, lucky. You see, there are very specific implementation of stuff we don't rely on. We just rely on the abstractions. So they are technically breaking changes because these are probably public properties, but we don't use them. Um, Conditionary if picture dictionary remove continue in motion. Interesting, I don't see where the Concurrency, maybe there is a. See, oh, maybe this thing is okay, it's reused. It's a single turn. But I don't see any locks, so was it broken before? That's weird. Oh no, maybe they're just storing what is to be deleted for later and then doing do it in a different method code. Okay. And now they can, they can do it live on the dictionary. Might explain that. Yeah, you see. Now they remove it live instead of storing what they do later. Eh. Not sure it's good for perf, actually, if you just read the additional. Um, you see? They think about shipping. Yeah, I think it's because losing part that. That who was doing this? There's a lot of things that. Oh, you, I see what you mean. Yeah. He moved a lot of things, uh, just like the analyzers are now uh, in a different uh, namespace, uh, just to be uh, like the Lucene for that eight uh, Java version. And he says that they have. Flag for net five six, so they don't need concurrent dictionary. It's just for so for the new versions, you don't need the concurrent dictionary apparently. Okay. Feature dictionary remove continue mission. Interesting. So maybe net five and six support that deleting while while iterating. Interesting. I didn't know that. I know it's not quite safe, but maybe you can still delete. You cannot add, but maybe you can delete. I don't know. I will check that. Interesting. Okay. Good luck to the missing contributors. Well, sure it's a single one. Night owl, which I'm sponsoring. Just because he's working on Lucene, I'm sponsoring. What's his name? Chad. Um, going back there, total count query looked at wrong collection. Interesting. Thank you for the contribution. Align tax initiative to rights so it doesn't break the view. I think it's rated to right to left. Right, I saw a screenshot that it was wrong in right to left. So I'll show this one is fixing it. Um, bootstrap 461. Oh, Jasper, look up I saw the PR. I trust you. I trust Antoine. So it's merged. So now the package of files are smaller. Are they? I'm not sure if they are smaller, but yeah, they, sh they should be uh, more optimized. Okay, they are not smaller, but it's faster. Yeah. No, it's not smaller, it's just faster. Let's say it's faster. Oh, 
Okay. MKLocks update fix greater than or equal to audit reg parsing. I was like, what is that? Are doing some parsing in the trail? Did Dean do that? Take time parser. Oh, I see. Ah, I see. So you see the issue here. Well, I didn't know you, I was doing something like that. So one off, that, 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 that. So the one off expression means take the first that you find. And here it says, okay, if you find greater than, oh, that's the one you want. So we found something. But maybe if there is an equal after, it says, no, oh, I found it. That's why I'm stopping from the one off. So that's why you need to, to look for the biggest string before looking for the small one. Like, okay, if there is, greater than or equal, then that's it that you found. Otherwise, is there a greater, uh, greater than? And then same thing there, either that and then that. So that's the fix I is doing. So there is a custom syntax for filtering all the trades. And you can use at now or at today. Have you seen that? I don't remember I saw that. Maybe you made a demo, I don't remember that. Interesting. Custom ranges for that. I see, I see why. So you can provide custom ranges for filtering or betraying, interesting. Updating 3214, we mentioned that last week, there is um, always condition issue with two with versions before, so this one is fixing it at rendering. Um, adds missing missing span tag, okay. Exchange issues and lots of that everywhere. A workshop. New contributor. No option to select to indicate no search index is set in the UI. Wow, that's a long commit message. I see because if you go on the settings screen, maybe you see a value, but it's not set. It's just the first in the drop down and you go back and it's not saved because it was not set before. So now you can see there is no search index. Yes, yes. Thank you. Common UI pattern. That you can hit pitfalls. Common pitfalls. Yep, if it's well, that. Cool. Fix the next Docker image name because because when I did the fix, I reverted the other one and the reverting made a mistake in the values, but I had built it before, so it was not an issue. They are on Docker. And I merged to 1.1 one, one because the change was done in the release 1.1 one, one branch. I merged to main to get the same change such that next time we release from main, then we have the correct code. Um, now, okay, so, so Thierry said he had a demo. Should we look at your website first? Sure, yes. So you shared a link. What is that link? It's not some phishing or whatever. It's a website, it's a natural website. It looks English because you know we don't speak Greek. So you gave us the English link. So I assume if I remove the EN, 
I'm going to some Greek website. And it asks me to translate to English and I'm like, nope, I don't need that because there is the link here. I can go there. It's quick enough. It looks good. It looks pro like everything you do. You have the old orchard logo here, which we like. But we know when we should, when you started on the site because this is the old one. Ah, uh, right. yes. Uh, yeah, That's okay. okay. Let, let, it's a, it's a small advertisement. <laughs> it's nice. Nobody knows that it's Orchard. The, all the users are like, wow, that's a nice logo. I like it. But I'm sure the customers they like their logo there. Um, I will click on links. I hope I won't break anything. It would be a shame. So what kind of site is that? Real estate and deployment? Yes, it's about real estate at the moment. Yeah some news around this market. Okay. It's quick. Are you doing any cash? It, it, it goes quicker, but then uh, we added uh, uh, advertisements and um, some, uh, you know, <laughs> analytics and uh, some other stuff. <laughs> it is quick. I mean, I can navigate it quickly. And I see now it's fixed. These things, they work. Yeah. There were issues. I found the building. It's, uh, it's still, uh, you know, they, they are loading uh, stuff. Are you sure? Yeah, because this is a taxonomy, if I'm not wrong. Inner HTML. Yeah, it's doing a... What are these HTML pages? You are doing some of oh, Stripe stuff. I see excellent websites are reading stuff. Okay. Stripe, Stripe, Stripe. Okay, you fix it. This one works. This might be taxonomy. These are taxonomies for sure, yes. Yes. Ooh, lots of content. And these on the right. Oh, I, I know. One second. One second. I realized why my wife came in the office. She was looking for an iPad. It was pinging me. Okay. So, uh, okay. Thank you for that. Orchard Core, obviously, because it's so fast. I will hack into your site. Sure, I can't. Multilingual. Wow, nice. It's quick. There is no request here. No, uh, it's actually jQuery, so we have both labels. And, uh, <laughs> you just changed it using jQuery, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Well, that works. I mean, who cares about SEO for this page? But this one is not jQuery. No, no. Is that the localization module? Yes, yes. And there is a redirect when I click, or, or the link is directly to the correct page when it's built, it is. The only thing that is missing, but it's not, it was not requested. It was the synchronization between the terms of the taxonomies, but uh, yeah. I see. Yeah. So if I do that. Yeah, so you have two taxonomies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cosa. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll add it to show all three. Um, then you said you wanted to make a demo about a feature, these items. So please share your screen, show us what you need to share. Okay, uh, well, it's not impressive, so 
now that we are only three, <laughs> I can show it. Um, let me know if you can see my yes, screen. Yes, fine. I can see. Okay. So I have we have a liquid tags tag that is uh, this goes about list items and uh, loads the list items of uh, a content item that has uh, uh, a list. So um, and uh, then I think some time ago uh, Dean was uh, introduced uh, the ordered lists so someone can go um, here and say this is a list and I can reorder stuff. So I can go here and then go back. But uh, the problem or yeah, uh, the list items uh, liquid filter didn't support that. So um, I have made uh, uh, an extension here. So this is the. Um, sorry. Uh, this is the, the list items filter. And uh, instead of calling query, query uh, list item async, which is that, and has uh, an option here to, to have an item predicate, I have added a part predicate in order to accommodate that. Uh, Someone wants to um, to order the list by part, which actually um, uh, it's the order. So uh, here uh, the query uh, item, the query list item, I had uh, I added the part predicate, and with this we are able. Uh, to order the list by uh, this predicate, if it exists. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I just order it by uh, the list content item ID, which is the same for all. So uh, the default uh, order of uh, the list items will uh, will come by. Uh, so the the result is that. Um, uh, if we have this list, uh, this is the list of uh, images. So the first one is this one, and the second is this. And if I go here and say it's this order, and uh, reload the list, this is what uh, happens. Uh, the second is first, and vice versa. And let's do it. Well. Because this is the left side. So this is uh, what uh, I have done. So the list items um, filter. Actually, if it's an order list, uh, it uh, returns the list items based on uh, the order that uh, the user has uh, selected. It almost looks like a bug to me that the order is not. Um is that well, to run yeah, so, <laughs> so uh, there was uh, this item predicate uh, here, but uh, it was only about the, the code item and not the parts of it. So we have, I had to extend it with uh, this part predicate. But at the same time, you just use a part predicate for the order. So it's more like order predicate. So, and the only thing you can access is the the part, so what's, yeah, but the part, the contained, contained part index, I see. Contained. Um. So what I have added is this stuff. So I have to go. I had to go back to the list to see if uh, um, in settings uh, the order is enabled. And yeah, uh, I, I mean, I, it should be in the default implementation. If the order, the uh, order is enabled, then we should use that when we list the items because it's an ordered list. Even or maybe just have a, a boon flag like order if enabled or something like that and false to disable this behavior. But I think it should be the default actually to just order by that 
when you use those things. I'm not sure you need a predicate. It's because these common razor helpers and filters, they should work with the expected defaults by, by default, by then order, but I'm not sure you need to be able to extend that. I'm not sure how you would extend that actually. Well, um, yes. So the, the, the other option here was to, to go here and say that, um, oh, yeah, I had to pass a, a something that, uh, you know, to do this. Uh, otherwise, so, so we need here. Yeah, using the list, con yeah, list content item ID is fine to have a stable list, even though I think the default order is the creation date when, when you don't have the option enable ordering i think it's using the creation date um, so that should be the default but when enable ordering is set yes we should use enable ordering so so i, I will submit the pr and uh, yes yeah, so i share the pr and then also dean will comment on that because he made the ordering feature mm -hmm. so let's see what he means yeah yeah that makes sense to have a way to have the ordered list somehow query list items, even if we need to do a query list items by or query recent list items, something like that, which, which is what we have for standard content items when we want to order by date. But the default query list items should take whatever the option on the list. Yeah. yeah. Is. OK. That's good. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. So, time, questions, comments? Did I miss anything? Uh, I showed that. That's easier. We talked about it. We need to update. Um, uh, we need to be ready for next week when we ship uh, the Net6. So, we can also merge that and we will support the Net6. Uh, I don't think right now it will be a requirement to have the Net6. Yeah, maybe. Yes, maybe you will need to install this okay, to be able to build on a dev branch. Uh, that's uh, not a big issue. Yep. May I ask something? Uh, I, I lost uh, one day or uh, uh, almost a day about the deployment to, to Azure uh, with this. Um, yeah, it was my fault actually. But uh, do you think that uh, this is something that we should have it documented somewhere for someone yes. else? If you missed a day because of that, yes, because the thing you made like 10 people will have the same issue and maybe not have your knowledge to fix it. So if you think there is something file an issue, say what you miss and what documentation should be written. If you can write it, write it, but at least file it to explain what's the solution until someone files a document, creates the documentation. And now some people will ask, what kind of documentation can I write? Like even two weeks ago, someone asked, like I want to help for the documentation, what can I write? So if we have an issue and it's tagged as documentation, people can see that and write the page if they want. But yes, uh, what was the issue? What did you what did you have? Uh, so so the, the issue is that I, I forgot to say uh, what uh, what uh, project the .NET should build ah. and uh, uh, publish. So I was publishing actually the, the route. Uh, the solution, and uh, every everything was fine with the site, except only that if I was enabling the recapsa module, I don't know why, uh, uh, the site was uh, responding uh, 500, that something is uh, messed up. Just so because I, of the version? Uh, yeah, because of uh, in the YAML file of uh, that uh, for the Azure, I I forgot to say that build the Ort Orchard CMS web and not uh, the solution uh, itself. Okay, so did I, I maybe didn't pick the correct project to deploy or something like that? I see. Yeah, definitely have a, a section with deployment. If if we don't have a deployment. We don't have a deployment right now. Then so. we should write one and have a section for Azure websites, just the specific. So in this case, it was more um, Azure DevOps, no, maybe? 
Yeah, yeah, definitely it goes with DevOps. But... Yeah, I broke the release last week. So I'm fixing it now. Okay, yeah, find an issue and if you want to start a PR with a page for deployment. Maybe how to? Yeah. What do we have here? Nothing. How to? Getting started. Two topics. Yeah, how to is fine. Deploying. Deployment. And then have a section with Azure Web Apps or DevOps, stuff like that. Um, okay. Don't we have something like that? Mm -hmm. DevOps. See, I something. Yeah. Or deploy. No, we have nothing with deploy. That's very bad. Yeah. Maybe there are issues already created, but yeah, if you can create something, even one or two screenshots and what to do, that will help for sure. Awesome. Thank you, Cedaris. Um, thanks everyone. See you next week, not at the same hour. And um, Thursday, I don't know what hour for you, but for me it will be 10 p.m., 10 a.m. Pacific time. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks. Thanks.